EU leaders are set to meet for the first time since the election of Jean-Claude Juncker as the next European Commission president. The talks will decide other senior EU posts, with the question of who will replace foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton likely to be top of the agenda. Italy's Foreign Minister Federica Mogherini is seen as a front-runner, despite some criticism. Italy has a very close relation, uh, relationship with Moscow, with Putin's government, and so I think there will be some opposition uh, from four countries at least to her appointment. I think that Federica is supported not only by the Italian government, but also by socialist leaders. Some of the criticisms that have been levelled against her in the past hours are ill-founded. Mogherini is someone of experience and authority. The other key EU job still to be assigned is the next president of the council. The leaders appear far from at an agreement on this meaning it will probably be discussed in September at another EU summit. Margarita Sforza, Euronews, Strasbourg. EU leaders are set to meet for the first time since the election of Jean-Claude Juncker as the next European Commission president. The talks will decide other senior EU posts, with the question of who will replace foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton likely to be top of the agenda. Italy's Foreign Minister Federica Mogherini is seen as a front-runner, despite some criticism. Italy has a very close relation, uh, relationship with Moscow, with Putin's government, and so I think there will be some opposition uh, from four countries at least to her appointment. I think that Federica is supported not only by the Italian government, but also by socialist leaders. Some of the criticisms that have been levelled against her in the past hours are ill-founded. Mogherini is someone of experience and authority. The other key EU job still to be assigned is the next president of the council. The leaders appear far from at an agreement on this, meaning it will probably be...